Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solutions Specialist at ATG USA. And we're here for another technical talk video in our series, providing a high level overview of the different tool sets inside of the Autodesk Build module. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the meetings area within Build. So if you haven't already done so, you can log into the ACC website and select the appropriate build project that we're going to be working with. Once we've done that, we'll land here on the home screen, but we're going to immediately jump to our meetings area here. So this is the area where we'll be able to manage our meetings and any items that we uh, input into our meetings. And we'll also be able to um, create uh, meetings that will be series that will have the ability to create follow ups behind or create any additional meetings that might be necessary. Um, I've gone ahead and started out by creating a couple of different meeting series that we have here. One for our owner, architect and contract weekly meetings, as well as one for our weekly safety meetings. And if we expand these, we can see the individual meetings that have been created under these meeting series. OK, and so right here, you can see that we've got one meeting that's been created under each of these. And we can see that the, in the status, these are currently uh, set as agendas. So these meetings have not taken place yet. We can see the date and time associated with the meeting as well as the location for the meeting. And so if we jump directly into the meeting itself, now we can see the pertinent information about this individual meeting. We see that it's our OAC weekly meeting. We can see the date, the time, and we can edit those. We can also edit the job location. And if we have a video conference link, we can input that here in this section. Directly underneath that, we're going to have the area where we can fill in a description for our meeting. And then we'll also have the ability to add our different meeting discussion items. And as you can see here, we've got different sections set up for safety, constraints, and RFIs currently. We'll be able to enter in the individual items underneath each discussion area here. And we'll also be able to set these items as particular, possibly being ongoing items that may be discussed on every meeting, in which case we would set that to ongoing and leave it there. And then we also have the ability to set items as possibly open or closed. If an item is referenced as closed in the meeting, uh, it will be closed out. And if we generate a new meeting or create a follow up meeting using the same meeting template, that item will no longer show up on our list here. OK, we also have the ability to assign the meeting items to individuals within the meeting. The way we would do that is we would just click on the box here to the left of the meeting item and we would have the ability to either set a due date for that item. Again, input assignees for that item, like I just mentioned here, or even the ability to flag or add references to this meeting item. That's very handy whenever we're in a situation like we see down here where we're going to be discussing RFIs. And so I've also referenced in the specific RFIs that need to be discussed within the meeting itself. We also had the ability to manage the people that are going to be invited into the meeting. And we had, and when you create the meeting, you automatically are recognized as the organizer. We can add invitees from the project that are already invited into our build project that we're working on, or we can add members that are not actually invited into our build project as well, if necessary. So we can see here that we've got one gentleman that we've invited in that is a non-member, while the rest are actually members on our project here. Once we're in the meeting, we had the ability to track the meeting attendees by clicking on the invitees tab right up here, which is going to open this box that we see here. And then we just simply check mark those individuals that have attended the meeting for today. We also had the ability to reference items into the meeting. So whether we're adding references to files or sheets into our meeting. And again, these are references for the meeting overall, not for the meeting items. And we also can reference to the individual items that we have added to the meeting itself as well, as you can see here. Now, as we're working through our meeting, if we see that this RFI number three has been discussed and we know that it is being resolved and will be closed out, therefore, it would not need to be discussed in a future meeting. We can just simply transition this from open to closed. And after the meeting is ended, we have the ability 
to change this meeting from an agenda to minutes. Once we change this meeting into minutes, it locks the meeting out and only the organizer would have the ability to reopen this meeting or these minutes to make any changes. So I'm going to mark that as minutes here. Now let's take a step back. We're going to go into our weekly safety meeting that we had here. because there's a couple of other things that I wanted to show you here. As you can see, I have our same list of invitees for the weekly safety meeting. But I wanted to show how we can create follow up meetings if we needed to for the following week. We can also share this meeting with the invitees, or we could even possibly bring this, export this meeting out as a .isc format that can be added to your Microsoft or Google calendars there. We can also export a report of the meeting out to a PDF format as well. So this was just a high level overview of the meetings within Autodesk Build. Thank you for joining me for this video and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have a great day.